we meditate whether we want to or not. As the Johns always said, this is not the sort of thing that you do in line with your wants. In other words, you don't do it only when you feel like it, and you abandon unskillful things only when you feel like it. That's not the case. This is a duty all around. As the Buddha said, the Four Noble Truths are categorical truths, which means they're true all the time. And it means the duties with regard to them are true all the time. And they don't depend on your moods. And the Buddha said this is a sign of your wisdom. If there's something that you know you should be doing but you don't feel like doing it, you can talk yourself into doing it. If there's something you like to do but you know it's not going to be good for you in the long term, you can talk yourself out of doing it. That's a sign of wisdom. If you just sit there talking to yourself, I don't like this, I don't like this, then you would say that's a sign of a fool. If there's something really good to do, you figure out some way to make yourself want to do it. Because this isn't the sort of thing that gets done simply by going through the motions. The very first base of success is desire. Without the desire, the concentration doesn't happen, the meditation can happen, but it's just going through the motions. The chanting is just going through the motions. Whatever is good is just going through the motions. And there's a little bit of good in, in that, in the sense that at least you're doing something good. But the fact that your heart isn't in it, you're missing one of the important bases for success, which is intentness. You really want to do this well. In terms of mindfulness practice, that's ardency, putting your whole heart into it. So if you're only half-hearted about it, ask yourself, what's wrong with the other half? How can I bring that other half into line? So I can pay full attention to what I'm doing and get the full benefits out of the meditation, the full benefits out of all the aspects of the practice. That, the Buddha said, is a sign of a wise person. <laughs>